the woman of God? What do you see? You see integrity. She exemplifies the quality of being honest and fair. She's not gossiping. She's not backbiting. She needs what you call freedom, justice, and equality. Not to just her children, but to her husband, to her community, and even to herself. Because how many times have we cheated ourselves as women? How many times have we given to others and then we're left depleted? We have to be true to ourselves as well. But ultimately, we have to be true to our God. We have to be true to Him, knowing that without him, again, we are nothing. And then finally, he doesn't want our sacrifice. It's, it's good that we sacrifice, but most importantly, he wants our obedience. He wants us to obey his commandments. Sometimes we may not understand. Sometimes we may not know why. But if we're walking with him, and we're leaning on him, and we trust in him, and, we, and our faith is embedded in him, by obeying saves our lives. So when you look at a kingdom woman of God, you look at a woman of salvation, a woman who lives the word, a woman who is valuable, a woman who's a praying woman, a woman who has strong faith and integrity and obedience. And see, when I look at you, I'm a reflection of you. And what I see is I see a kingdom woman right now who's living their purpose on purpose. And so I exhort you today to live on purpose for purpose. Plan. Yeah. Don't be an accident. Yeah. Don't make it an accident. Oh, and everything you do, put him into the forefront. Amen. In Psalms 138a, it says, The Lord will vindicate me your love. Lord endures forever. Do not abandon thy works of the hand. Yeah. And another translation, it says, The Lord will perfect that which concerns me. Yeah. Your mercy and loving kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the works of your own hand. And then the new translation says you, you will do everything you have promised. Yeah. Lord, your love is eternal. Complete the works that you have begun. Yes, and the Lord will perfect that which concerns me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thy hand. So we say, O Lord, we thank you for perfecting in me yourself as we walk this daily walk. Don't abandon us, O Lord. And we thank you and we know that your love endures forever. Thank you. Amen.